Hi everyone, it's Brian from JailbreakZone.com and this should be part 3 and the final video in my little Mac OS 10.7 Lion video series. And in this video I'm just going to show you some of the stock applications and show you some of the differences comparing or compared to the Snow Leopard ones. So I'm going to go ahead and open my applications folder and I will start at the top with address book and immediately it looks, ex it looks I'm not going to say it looks exactly like the iPad version but it's very close. Uh, you can see that you have two different sides here. You could also just switch to one side, similar to the pro, uh, portrait landscape orient or <laughs> portrait orientation on the iPad. So this is pretty cool. There are a couple new menu options here, I believe. And let's take a look at the preferences. And there you go. So that is address book, app store. It's the same as in. Uh, Snow Leopard. Automator, I believe, is the same. And I don't know what it's doing. There it goes. So that looks the same. Calculator is the same. Chess is the same as always. And dashboard, here it is. This is the new dashboard in OS 10. Um, let me, for whatever reason, I, there we go. Okay, dictionary looks the same. DVD player, I can't ever remember opening DVD player, so I have no idea what it looks like. FaceTime should be the same as in Snow Leopard, except the version number is different. I think font book, look, font book looks slightly different than the Snow Leopard version. Uh, iCal is definitely different as well. You have the full screen option. So this gives you more work uh, workspace for your calendar. You could switch to the day or the month or the year. So iChat looks like it's the same, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Image capture, same as before. iTunes, I believe, is the same as before. I, I uh, so far it looks the same. So. Um, Mail is different. I'm not going to open that because I have my mail account set up and I don't think you guys should see my emails, but you could go ahead and look at screenshots of it. Um, there are some major differences to it compared to the Snow Leopard version. It's a little bit more like the iPad version where on the left side you have your sidebar, sort of like Finder. It looks a lot like Finder because you have a similar sidebar layout and you have some buttons at the top. And based off of what I just said, it's probably a lot like the Snow Leopard version, but there's definitely some interface tweaks that take a while to get used to. Photo booth is the same. I think it starts up differently. There's a little spinner in the middle of the screen that usually sits there for about 20 seconds until your camera activates. Preview, it's, it obviously supports full screen mode. Uh, QuickTime's the same. Safari, I showed you that in the previous video, but I'll give you a little tour of that again. You have your scrolling. Once you hit the top or the bottom, it sort of bounces back a little bit. You have two fingers zooming in, similar to iOS, so the page sort of refreshes as you zoom in. So that's cool, and you can also use two fingers to go back and forth between your web pages that you've been to, like so. That is Safari. Screen flow isn't stock. SMC fan control is not stock either. Here's stickies. It looks exactly the same as before. System preferences, you have a few new options, users and groups, I believe this was previously users. Um, we now have an internet accounts section, which shows you your various uh, accounts associated with your computer. Um, most of these other options are the same, I've already shown you the trackpad preferences, there are some new multi-touch gestures, um, that's about it for system preferences. Text edit. It looks slightly different, just the top bar. It seems like it gives you a few extra options, so that's pretty cool. Time Machine, I haven't tried it yet. Twitter is not a stock app. All of these other ones, I assume, are the same. Expose actually goes to Mission Control. Disk Utility is the same, or at least it looks the same. Um, that is pretty much it. Terminal, for the most part, is the same. There might be a few new uh, preferences, but I'm not going to go through that. So that was just a quick look at all of the stock applications in Mac OS 10.7 Lion in the Developer Preview Edition. If you want to get your hands on your, 
or if you want to get your hands on a copy of this version of 10.7 you could head on over to jailbreakzone.com or you could click on the link that I'll have down below in the description. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any video requests, like if there's anything you want me to uh, show you in more detail, go ahead and leave it down below. But that's about it for Lion. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Jailbreak-related video.